Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here. Today, a quick video going over 5.0 download links. Now, this is a warning video, and I'm also linking you to downloads for iOS 5.0. Now, basically, I'm going to go over the uh, download links, which are in the description, and a warning for you guys, and I'm not going to help you guys who don't listen. So, basically, 5.0 is um, out. It's beta. It's only for developers. It's supposed to be only for developers. But if you do have your UDID registered, which means that you have that 40-digit long code that um, pertains to your device uh, registered with a developer account, that you can restore to the 5.0 firmware. Now, I have had three other videos, or actually two other videos and one exporting on 5.0 itself. So, um, you guys can see the preview, but a lot of people want the actual beta in for themselves. So guys, um, warning, do not update if you do not have your UDID registered. Do not update if you're unsure if you want it. Downgrading is um, made very, um, very hard or even impossible from 5.0 to 4.0. 5.0 is also very buggy. Run it on side devices, iPads, iPods. Never run it on your primary iPhone or iPod. Most people, iPod isn't that big. So stay away from your primary devices. So for example, in 3.1 beta, I upgraded my iPhone 3GS, my primary iPhone, and I was unable to receive text messages. In 1 beta, I was unable to receive phone calls. Of course, I could downgrade with 3.1 beta, but now with the 3.1, or actually the 5.0 baseman updates, it makes it very complicated and, um, or it actually can be impossible to downgrade from 5.0. So guys, I hope you take this warning seriously. If you have your UDID registered and you're looking for a download link, again, this is against the developer um, uh, agreement, so these download links are in the description, but um, I warn you. And I will not help you who got stuck and are bricked with uh, 5.0. So you could um, necessarily be stuck. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and check out iOSforlife.com.